Welcome to how to make iPhone apps. In this video we will learn the following. Let me introduce you to Sean. Thanks Sean, take it away. In this session we will learn how to create a custom transition when navigating between two views. Go ahead and start Xcode. Go to File, New, New Project and select the master detail application here as our starting point. Select next. Go ahead and name it custom transition. Um, use automatic reference counting. Uh, we're going to build for the iPhone. Select next. And go ahead cre and create the project. And I'll go ahead and show you how the um, custom view uh, works. Let's go ahead and run it. So this is called a master detail record. If we create an item here, the detail is this other view. So what it's doing is it's going from this master page, our view, to this detail view. And what we want to do is we want to create a custom effect or a transition for when they select and navigate to this second view here. Well, let's go ahead and stop the simulator and show you how this is done. So if we go to the app delegate implementation file and we see how this is all set up. We notice that there's a navigation controller um, that we have available to us and this is what we'll use for the transitions. So let's go ahead and go to master view controller .m file and when the table row is clicked that's when the detail view controller is launched. So let's find the code for when the table row is selected And you see here at when the table view is select row at index path is selected. Um, it goes ahead and grabs the detail view controller and it pushes it to the navigation view controller. So we see that See that the detail view controller is pushed um, using the navigation controller. And this is where we want to do our transition. Um, so let's go ahead and set that up. So our first order of business here before we push it is to set up our animations. So this is how you set up your animation using a UI view. And you can name it here, whatever you want. And of course the context in this point is nil. And then we're going to set our animation duration at 1.2 seconds. And then we're going to go ahead and set up what kind of curve we want for this animation and um, we're just going to use this simple one curve ease and out for the animation curve and now we actually can set up our transition effect So here's our set animation transition. 
we're going to use this UI view animation transition curl down of course it's going to be for the view of the navigation controller as it's pushed onto this view controller here and let's go ahead and commit the animations and we want to make sure of course that this is done after the push event happens after this push event happens uh, we want our commit to occur let's go ahead and see this in action go ahead and click run we're going to add an item and select that item you see that we have that transition effect. Let's stop the simulator and let's try one more different animation effect. You see here if you type UI view animation transition you have all these available. So we're going to try a flip from top and see how that works. Go ahead and run it. Actually, that's not a correct animation. We're going to have to do you know, view animation transition view missing transition. We only have these available. Uh, we're going to do a flip from left. Let's run that. So we add our detail record, select it, and now we have that custom flip. And of course you can change that animation duration as well to any time you want. And of course there's these options available to you. And that concludes how to create custom transitions between views using a navigation controller.